Hi, I'm Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing. Uh, we want to do a little short video today uh, to help you understand a little bit about how to measure your bandsaw blade. A lot of time if you've got a uh, standard bandsaw, one of our meals, uh, the Cook's AccuTrack or uh, other meals that are made out there and it's a standard meal, we often know approximately what size uh, blade that you have. And so you can often tell us, you know, if it's a whatever type of meal it is, and, and we'll have a good idea. Sometimes machines change over the years, and manufacturers change their specs a little bit. And even though you may still have a Morgan bandsaw, a resaw, uh, you know, it may be done different, or it may be reverse roll. So we ask a fair amount of questions trying to uh, make sure we get the blade that you need, uh, make sure it's... Uh, turn the right way when we weld it and make sure it's the right length. Some machines also have very little adjustment and so it becomes very critical uh, in, in that uh, process that, that we get dimensions and so sometimes we ask a lot of questions and you may not have the answer and, and that can be frustrating so I wanted to show you uh, a way to do this. It's not the most easy thing in the world, it's a little bit uh, uh, tedious I guess you would say but you can take a string, I've got a roll of string right here, and we put some tape on here, uh, you need some good duct tape, and, uh, and tape in a couple of places or three, just be a little patient with it, it'll take a, a minute or two. But what we like to do is, is measure it with, it all, with your uh, adjustable wheel all the way in and all the way out, so that we have the shortest and longest that your blade could be. Uh, it's good if you have two inches of adjustment in there, but if you have only a half inch, then that tells us we may need to do what we call a bump and cut or, or do something a little bit different to, to try our best to get you a specific blade that you might need. So, so we've done this and we've already, because it is a little tedious, uh, put this string around here and got a couple of pieces of tape. Uh, I probably would have put three on each wheel if I had it to do again. but. Um, so I've pulled this string across here. I started right here and I pulled uh, this string over here and uh, we actually have it all the way in right now. Have you a, a, a nice magic marker or a very good writing pen and mark the string uh, right at the end of where the other one starts. And, and so you have a black mark as we were uh, doing a little trial run here. It's, it's so easy to uh, pull that thing out and lose your place. So mark it uh, the shortest and then come over and we would use our uh, uh, blade tensioner and, and jack it out, we call it, or, or, or jack it out with your hydraulics, whatever type system you have, to the longest uh, blade as far out as the mechanism will go. And uh, that'll tell us the shortest and longest. And what we like to do is, is go to really the longest and index back. And all this is about getting your tooth spacing correct. And if you have a little adjustment, uh, the two spacing may land at a different place according to how it's manufactured. Uh, in other words, if a, if a blade is only, say, ten thousandths, which is nothing difference from tooth to tooth uh, in the manufacturing, well, you multiply that time 150 teeth or so, and, uh, and you've got a lot of difference. And so that tooth can land at different places, and we have to, we have to index this thing forward or backwards to make it all uh, work out right for sharpening that blade. If you're if you don't have enough spacing, then um, then uh, we have to do the bump and cut, and you have to either start on one side or the other of those teeth and work it out that way, or just not sharpen it. But once we've pulled this this all the way around, uh, then then I can uh, take it take the uh, string off because I've just got it taped here and kind of hold my hand. Uh, where, where the uh, marks were, if I don't lose them here, and uh, they're right here. And then I'll just take this and I can either uh, lay it out on something. The easiest thing is if you got a helper, <laughs> a wife or a child or, or, or somebody who works with you, to hold this and just you just lay it out on the ground and pull it out and uh, very simply, and then you would take your tape measure and just measure it out. And that would tell us, and then you have, you have both those marks, you have the shortest and the longest, and that's what does us the best and, and allows us to, to get the best length blade for you.
So I hope this will help you. It is a little bit of a tedious process, uh, but you know, take five or ten minutes to do it. And if you got somebody helping you, that that maybe makes it a little bit easier. So. I uh, hope that was interesting and something that will be helpful to you and certainly will help us out uh, uh, to help get the right blade for you when you order blades.